Hello, brothers and sisters. We've been talking a lot about suffering in the last couple of my videos, but now I'd like to talk about one of the great uh, usefulness of this suffering. It's not just to make us like Christ, it's also to use us in the life of others. Yeah. This is what Paul says to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians 1, verse 4. God who comforts us in all affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. In other words, we suffer, we are then comforted, comforted so we can do the same for others. Have you ever tasted that great refreshing embrace of consolation by the Holy Spirit, by God's work? I have, more times than I can count. But then God says, use that refreshing consolation that you've enjoyed in a very personal way to share with others. Now be careful, it's not about throwing this refreshing drink in their face and saying, get, yeah, trust in God now. No, sometimes it's by showing them where the glass is and how to drink it. Sometimes it's giving them a few sips here and there like when somebody's sick. But the sense is you've enjoyed God's consolation through your affliction, after your affliction, so you can then turn around and do it to others. This isn't a job for professionals only. This is a job for all who have the Holy Spirit, the great counselor, have tasted it and therefore can share it to others. So may we share this consolation with those around us who are afflicted, brothers and sisters. Be blessed.